I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to share your screen on a live stream so you can present content effortlessly and look like a pro. I'm Sarah Nguyen and on this channel I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. And in this live stream tutorial I'm going to walk you through a quick and stress-free way to share your screen on Facebook Live or any other live stream platform because when you're live there's a lot going on and you just need things to work. The live stream software that I'm using today is Restream and they've built a great live streaming platform and I've been using them for the last year. They've got free and paid plans and you can sign up using my link in the description if you'd like another $10 discount to try them out. It doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC, you can use Restream Live Studio to live stream from your web browser and you don't need a souped up computer unlike other live stream software providers. So once you've logged into Restream and you've added your destinations, you can access the Restream Live Studio by selecting this orange button that says Enter Live Studio. Now to start sharing your screen you want to select this third icon here and when you hover over it it says share screen so I'm going to select that and then I get some choices if you have multiple monitors you get to choose between which monitor that you want to share and that allows you to share the entire screen you've also got the option option of sharing an application window so I can share just a particular application that I'm using or I can also choose to share a tab, a browser tab that I have open. I'm going to go to your entire screen and choose screen two. So that's the second monitor that I've got. And then I'm going to select share. And then Restream will add the screen to the green room on the right hand side here. And once I'm ready to start sharing, I simply click on this little toggle icon and then maximize to share the whole screen. And then I can simply go ahead on my merry way and present with the screen content that I have. So this is such an easy way to share your screen. And then you've got a couple of options even further. So if I click on this little icon here, spotlight, this allows me to have that picture in picture type of feel. So it's got the camera feed of me and the screen's still sharing, but I'm in the bottom right hand corner. So I can toggle between that to add myself. And I can also toggle with that button to change the layout of it. So I just selected it again and it's put the actual screen and me 50% um, of the actual screen. And if I click it again, it will add me back to the bottom. So there's just a couple of layout options there. And if I want to remove myself from being picture in picture, I click maximize and then that gets rid of me. But alternatively, if I want to stop screen sharing, I simply click on the toggle for it to stop sharing and then it will be back to the feed of myself. Now, if I've selected on the top right here, you can see there are two black and white little layouts. So I've selected this right one here and then I'm going to select this spotlight again and this allows me to have my screen share and me on the screen at the same time and the sizes are different and it's showing a beautiful background that I've selected. So you've got these nice little layouts that you can choose and toggle between whether you want to have it full screen, whether you want to have yourself spotlighted as a picture in picture, or whether you want to be side by side. And this is a nice little feature that they have. You kind of get to choose a couple of layouts that are really clean and look really professional while you're sharing your screen. Anytime if I want to stop sharing the screen, I simply toggle this off and it will return the live stream to be the camera feed. So, and then I would also select stop sharing and that will get rid of the screen share altogether. So that's how you would share your screen using Restream. If you found this video useful, hit the like button for me and let me know in the comments section below what other live stream tutorials you'd like to learn about. I'd love to make these videos for you. And in the meantime, why don't you check out my handy dandy Restream playlist or grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple way to get up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. Check them out by clicking on the screen and I will see you in the next video.